Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Thursday, and I don't even want to talk about it. You're close. You and Gerald, man, I'm going to tell you, both with 596s. I was good. I went like 560 or 570. Barry went 630. We did good last night. But here's the part you don't know. 199, 244. 150. I only need a 160. You didn't, you got a 150. But that was the second game. And I, I went, found my groove at the end. I, I went, went eight straight. 161, 199, 223. Why couldn't I have thrown that first game a 175 and 180 out of here? But anyway, we're getting better. We're getting better. We. I want to thank everybody for the response of our Wednesday show, uh, or Tuesday show about being a dick, and I want to rebuttal, I mean not rebuttal, I want to say rebut. something, rebut, I saw somebody in Walmart, and I had told Chris, I sent him a text, I said, three people had stopped me in Walmart, over here, the new one, and went, hey, I watched the show, and one of them said, hey, with his four kids, I am a dick, and I worry about that. Well, we also got a text going, is my kid a dick? <laughs> <laughs> so, for some of you, it hit home. And for some of you, you went, crap, man. That's a real thing, that when yeah. I'm a dick, my kid sees it or I'm right. And so, you, yeah. I see it all the time in mine. You know, Megan's here all last week. Right. I ain't see her. But I'm that, I don't go visit much. I don't. Right. You know, and I mean to. I just don't. I mean, like you, you ain't been home in, in a long time. 2014. <laughs> you know, so for me, it's like, I'm on that side of town. Let me stop in and see my mom. Right. But it's not, I, I it's almost, and I'm ashamed to say it, it's almost like I don't go out of my way to go visit. You, uh, you know, I didn't visit my grandmother unless we were driving through working. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a bad trait, and my kids have it. Well, my dad said to me, because he was the guy that his parents said, when you come into town, you're going to stay with us, you're going to visit, you're going to hang out with me, blah, blah, and, and he didn't want, and he... Didn't go see his friends and stuff. And he always told me, son, when you come back, you you go do. Me and your mama seen you long enough. You go visit your friends. You go do all that. And then you, you'll come visit with us. And I've always taken that to heart to where. Well, it'd be different if you lived across town from him. Well, yeah, yeah. The, you know, you'd away. stop in his office and, yeah. and visit every once in a while. But, but I'm, I'm a, and, and maybe some of you are like that. Some of you are, I'm not a family gathering type of dude. <clears throat> Or regular gathering kind or of dude. Or regular gathering type gathering of dude. Kind of dude. I am, really don't care. I don't mind going to your house. Because we talked about this. I'm going to leave. And pretty quick. But I don't invite people to my house. And it, I have a family reunion Saturday. Yeah? I am so excited. Eee. To go? Yeah. To where there's some people. Family reunion, we're going. It's not that I don't like being around them. I just know, I just know, and I tried to change it a few years ago. I just know that I'm going to go down there and I'm going to sit with my mom, my aunt, and my uncle, and our group. Right. And the other group's going to be over there. And another group's going to be over there. And in passing, hey, how are you? Good to see you, man. But it's going to be that same group we, I'm with on Easter. So why go? And Thanksgiving, just because. It's one of those deals, if your dad went, hey, you need to call this person or you need to go here, you go. I hadn't been in the last two years. Okay. There you go. That's right. I was looking <clears> So my mom asked I'm, me to go. No, she didn't ask me to oh. go, but I know she'd like me to go. And it's not in Tyler this, this year. It's in Chilton. Oh. So it's a little, little easier. The bar was still new last year, you know, and we were – you know, still helping Rick. Right, and I didn't right, go, right, right. I like going. My deal was, when it's time to eat, 
you have to sit with somebody from a, because there's nine kids in my grandmother's family. Right. You need to sit, like, one or two from our family needs to go sit with that family and that family. So just, at least for while we eat, sit with a different family member. Because we all know each other. Yeah. With Facebook, we all know what's going on. Yeah, yeah that's right. So right. there would be conversation before social media. It'd be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> Chicken good? <laughs> you know. But now you know a little bit about people because you, you keep up with it. I'm with you, man. I, <clears throat> I think Facebook has, ma has made it easy, especially for me. I know what everybody's doing. Everybody knows what I'm doing. I ain't been to a family reunion on my mom's side since I was 27. So it's been a while. And my dad's side, I went to one of those. So, people are... Go, going back to social media, yesterday, went to Jason's Deli for lunch. Right. Chris Lowe walks up. Oh. Chris Lowe walks up, and he goes, hey, Brooks, nice to meet you. Seems like I know everything about you. Right. All from social media. You know, yeah. how was Vegas? Saw the pictures of the wedding. Yeah. You know... Blah, blah, blah. Knew every I totally thing agree. about it. Now, when he walked off, I kind of got a little offended. <laughs> I said, this was, that was the fourth member of the boy band. <laughs> and some hysterical laughing broke out. And I don't know if she was laughing at him right. or the band. But uh, I'm going to just let her know I'm not happy. I mean, that, that, that's it, dude. Uh, that's it. Social media has made gatherings so much. Online. You don't have to do it. Yeah, you're gathering online. You don't have to do it. You can talk. And I'm that guy. Hey, let's get a group chat. Family family reunion group chat. Hey, y'all, what's up? <laughs> and I'm not even good at, with it online, man. You know, me and my dad text, and that's about it. But Oh, until the last year, you were horrible at group text. Yeah. Now... I you and Hoke will start going back and forth on a movie or something, and I kind of tune out, but used to, it was like, and our, our buddy that'll be here to work out in a minute will send back, hey, take me out of this damn group text or whatever. I am, I'm that <laughs> way, too. I delete everything except the, I have the four backyard bosses, you, Stephanie, and me and Hoke and you, because I don't like that popping up on my phone when I'm like, well, I'm with you. I'm like, I got no, I'm done. I'm done with this conversation, so don't. It's like me leaving the room, but I can't leave the room. I get called back in. I, I delete mine, too, and I hate that I do because I needed a number yesterday. Do and you? Oh, it you wasn't couldn't there, find it. But the other person, like, that's yeah. why I saved my messages. Yeah. Do you? You ain't got no friend. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't, I don't want to say like the family gathering because that's where we were. <clears> do, you, do you just feel like it's an obligation? Do you feel like, oh man, it's just going to be another wasted time? Are you excited that it's finally here and you've missed two? Which one are you? Yeah. I love my intermediate family gatherings. Right. To Easter, Thanksgiving, all that. I feel a little uncomfortable. You know, I'm that uncomfortable guy though. I don't like walking in to new stuff and new people and that right, kind yeah. of stuff. And that's almost what a family reunion is because you feel like you need to catch up with all these people. For me. Yeah. So it makes me a little uncomfortable. And I'm the guy that goes, I ain't going. And they all go, wow, what's what? what, what I'm, I'm not going, I'm not going. I barely can do Christmas and Thanksgiving and all that. I go to Thanksgiving at her mom and send my dad. So thank you, Facebook, for letting everybody know what we do. I appreciate that. So I ain't got to go do it. Tomorrow's Friday. What we got this weekend? Uh, tomorrow night is Randall King. First time full band, all deal. And I think he's out of tech. I think at Lubbock. And he is damn good. And he, damn. And he, he's blowing up. He just, I don't know if he's, how here big he, he is here, but if Love you it. like Texas country music and that kind of leaning towards original country, uh, this is the guy to see. And then, of course, Sloppy Joe on Saturday, which you sloppy know will be Joe, a party. Sloppy, sloppy and it'll be Joe. funny because Brian's probably yeah. going to talk about people. Uh, get by and see our buddy Chris Goss <laughs> over there at Cryo Fitness. I don't know why I said Cryo Fitness. Elysium Fitness down there in Washington. Good place. Good gym. And Great next gym. week we'll have our new sponsors up and rolling, Southern Legacy Trailer. Yeah. They built us an aluminum trailer. Bad to the bone. That you pick up like this. Yes. And carry it around. Bad to the and bone. And Chris at Cred Computers. 
man, Johnny on the spot hooked us up. Hooked he, you us know, up. he's not a hooked us up big conglomerate of people. It's just him. Chris, what are you doing? Coming to fix your computer. Yep. <laughs> so he's good. So we're going to get that in. We'll see you Monday from the backyard. <laughs> Have a good weekend. Get down to the backyard. And uh, hopefully everything works out for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday here in the studio. I'm pretty excited. We've got some good topics. If we can remember them, because right now we've got some. Yeah. Uh -huh. Until Monday, I'm Russ. This is Chris. We're out of here. Wait. Happy birthday, Mr. Tommy Miller. Hmm. Happy 70th birthday, Woo! Mr. Hot Ass Sexy Tommy Miller. I would have never thought you were a day over 69. That's what I was thinking. We're going to get out of here.